I'm going to be cleaning up this cage next. And this is where Azriel and Sadie live, plus two youngsters. Golden lives in here, and Lily. But I've decided I'm going to be moving this lot into that cage over there. Because right now, the only mice in this cage are Leo and Summer. And this is a really large cage. A bit too big, oh, big to waste on just two mice. So I'm going to move um, Asriel's little group into here because they're larger. And then Leo and Summer will get moved into the smaller cage. I'm going to move one mouse over from the big group. Uh, little um, Gabby will get moved over with these guys and then it'll be five little mice and that'll take a little bit of pressure off the big group and it'll be a, an, just the right number for that other larger cage. So because I'm going to be introducing new mice to each other I'm going to have to put them into a introduction tank for a few days just so they get used to each other. This group is fairly harmonious except they haven't quite accepted Lily yet and Lily is a little black and white mouse that comes from the pet store. I wanted a little bit of fresh blood plus a little more black and white in my breeding program and they seem to know that she's not related so it's taking forever. They're not killing her or anything but it's taking a long time for her to integrate so hopefully uh, spending a little bit more time in a small tank again will make things a little easier on her. And right now, Lily is hiding, and this is usually, she hides under the bedding over here, usually. There she is, but she's she's had such a hard time. She's a tiny little mouse. So you realize that when you raise them with good food over several generations, they grow, grow big and strong. And little pit store mice, they've had it hard, so. They're smaller. I haven't had bought a pet store mouse for quite a while, so I was quite surprised to see how tiny she is and how skittish she is. A real difference compared to my lot. Sadie. Sadie's actually quite an elderly little girl now, but very adorable. And Asriel is amazing because he is semi paralyzed. He's almost two years old, and yet he's going strong. He's much healthier looking than. Um, Faye and um, Leo, who are my second oldest. So you just never know. He just got good genetics, despite the fact he had an injury when he was young. And so now he's just slightly paralyzed. But he's pretty awesome. I'm very fond of my little Asriel, even though he's never really become tame. You know, lately he's interacting with me much more. And right now it's quite amazing. Little um, Golden back there. She's come into her first heat, and he's actually behaving like a male mouse. I would think he would be way too old and way too paralyzed, but no. He's quite an amazing little guy. <laughs> so, I better get going. We're putting them into... Little guy. Putting them into their new digs, so everybody can use to each other. They won't like it, though, but it's only for a few days. Hopefully they'll accept uh, Gabby straight away because she's the sister of Golden, related to everybody. So it shouldn't be that. These two asked for some free time on the desk, so I am allowing them. <laughs> it's funny how much they like to have a little bit of space once a day. They're really stretchy little things. So I've got this tank. So the tank is, um, has been washed and now it's got fresh... Um, paper towel and I'm going to wash this little hide thoroughly and set it up so that they'll be comfortable in here for a few days as they get to know each other. So I'll just finish that off. Got these two little guys giving me company. Hey! <laughs> this is phase just the best. And here is little Midas. They love helping out, don't they? new stuff to see. Yeah. Okay, better get this done. So the intro, the intro cage is now all set up. Um, basically with an intro cage you want to keep it as minimal as possible so there's nothing for them to fight over. 
and it has to be as clean as possible, everything in there, so that there's no odors at all. So there's nothing for them to feel territorial over. So I thoroughly washed the little hide and the water bowls, and also this is a freshly washed piece of wood that none of the other mice have had. So um, this should be set up in such a way that everybody will feel comfortable and won't feel territorial. And the reason I put the piece of wood in here, it's not just that it's good for them to chew on, it's also high. They always want to go high when they're in a the small cage because they're desperate to get out. And I don't want the highest point to be the water dish because then it'll get dirty. And also this will be a, a way that um, little Lily can get out of the way if the others are too hard on her. Quite often the one that's being bullied will go to the highest point and just sit there and it seems to be sort of a safe spot for them. So hopefully this will work. I think I'll go get them and put them in. Oh, these little guys are easy to catch and others are not. So let's just get one first. She is an easy one to catch. Little. Actually, I don't think I'm going to set her down here. She Ah, sorry, no, I can't. <laughs> She'd be fine with this little one, but not with that little one. <laughs> Midas is an aggressive little guy, even with the ladies. <laughs> yeah, so she's in. She'll go check it all out. And I'll go get the rest. Okay, this little one. She's not as tame as her sisters because she's in a group uh, where the adults are a little less tame. But she's not bad. Azrael has really improved with age, but he still does not like to be caught. So I just have to be patient. Got him. And I have to hold him still a little bit by his tail because he could jump. And down he goes. Hi. You're a difficult little boy. You like to beat people up. You do, don't you? You beat everybody up. Yes, you do. You beat everybody up. Time to go back to your cage. Huh? Time to go back. Okay, let's go to the gym. Okay, I'm going to put this little fella back. His cage needs cleaning badly. It'll be the next one on the agenda. There he goes. Let's see if... Oh, where is little Faye? Faye, are you happy there or do you want to come too? Is it time to go back? Time to go back. Faye is very easy to catch. <laughs> Just lay your hand down and she's in it. Hi, Faye. There you go. <laughs> These two just always want to be in your hand. <laughs> okay, but i got to get to work. Unless you guys want to run around some more. You guys want to run around some more? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I will let you guys run around some more. Daniel? You do? No, no, you can't stay the whole day in my hand. I have got work to do. Okay, Daniel? There we go. <laughs> you do. You guys want real run, free run, don't you? But I'm toing and froing too much. Can't let you have real free run. You've got to stay on the desk. Oh, you too. And actually, I did find some cheesies the other day. Would you guys like some cheesies? Yes. You guys would love some cheesies, wouldn't you? Yeah. Who would like a cheesy? Who would like a cheesy? Here he goes. What about you? Want a cheesy too? Yeah. Okay, there's cheesy. Yeah, all for you. Sorry guys, I better not give you guys cheesies. That will give you a reason to fight over something. So I've put little Golden in here. She's a gorgeous little mouse. Looks very much like her daddy, except she's got some white on her. Lovely little mouse. I think the next one I'm going to get will be her sister. Right, somewhere in here is Gabby. Ah, oh, there she is. Hi, Gabby. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to move you out of here. we just got too many mice. Got to take some of the pressure off. And I think you're a good candidate to move, since I'm not going to use you for breeding. 
And you're a good-natured little girl. This is little Gabby, and I'm just holding her by the base of the tail so that she doesn't jump on me. She's actually quite easy to catch. It wasn't any big deal. So Gabby's new, so we don't really know how everybody's going to react. Her sister might still remember her. Sometimes they do. We'll see how it goes. I'll have to go get little Lily next. I'm just going to wait to see. Make sure nobody's going to try and kill Gabby. The difficult one is Azriel. He's still very male, even though I had him muted quite young. I didn't use him for breeding. But and somebody's coming to heat and he knows it and he's been muted like for I don't know, a year and a half, and he's almost two. He is in very good condition, little Astriel. Oh, looks like so far everything's going okay. Ah, uh, Astriel has a little bit telltale signs of respiratory illness. That noise. Now I'm going to have to start keeping him, he's old enough that I'll have to start keeping him on dust-free um, bedding. So it's a good thing he's actually going to be in here for a while. I may not have to medicate him. It might just be enough not to have dust. We'll see how things go. But I find that injections of Batril work wonders with respiratory illness, so I should be able to fix him in no time. And then I just have to make sure that I keep him as dust-free as possible, which means he has to be on uh, bath mat carpeting. So I'll be able to give him a digging box, but for the most part, he'll have to be on carpeting for the rest of his life. None of these two sisters remember each other. I just gotta make sure, actually, I think I may take this little fellow away, because if any of the others get onto here, this little guy will try to kill them. He is a very aggressive little boy. Okay, he gets to go back into his cage. There you go, little man. Back you go. Too dangerous to have with those. Just in case we have an escape. And I'm going to shut the lid pretty soon. Just got to go and catch the little black and white one. I know you like being out and about. Yeah. Oh, got to put the lid back. Got to put the lid back on this little yeah. Let's go careful. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about this. Midas? Sorry about this, Midas. I know. Oh, this one is so pretty. This one's so pretty. So shiny, just like Midas. So, I'm going to try and catch Lily, but because she's so incredibly shy, I'm going to use a paper towel. So what you do with the paper towel roll, you put it somewhere where you know she's going to run, like along an edge like this, and then you hope... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's happening here? Somebody being mean? Yeah, we still don't have squeaks, and as I predicted, Asriel. Tried to introduce Asriel to Leo, and it did not work out, because Asriel just will not accept his handicap and that he has to be a better male and so he just kept on challenging uh, Leo and then he had his tail bitten pretty badly because so Leo's patience only went so far so then I had to before he had his tail entirely bitten off I had to remove him put him on his own so he'll never be able to be with another neutered male which is a bit of a bummer these males are Wonderful, but they're tricky to keep and to manage. So hopefully he's not going to be too mean to the newcomer. So we're still in the process. Uh oh! 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 It's not just. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not just him that's being mean. Sadie's being mean too. There's a lot of fighting here. Yeah. Main thing. They have to sort things out. And main thing they aren't making anybody bleed. Oh, look at this sweet little thing here. What do you want? She always wants to be picked up. Yeah, but I, I'm going to put you back too. I'm going to put you back. You just like to be in my hand, don't you? Yeah. Okay, I'm put you back. Put you back. There you go. Now for good. I'm not going to give in to little puppy eyes and little begs to be picked up and go free run. No. Oh, yeah. You guys actually get to have a treat. Yeah, you guys get to have a treat if you go back into the cage. I forgot about that. 
always do that so they're willing to to come back into the cage they get a treat that's what they want so you guys wanted treats so i'm gonna have to make enough for everybody though because otherwise we'll have fights okay how about i use this as a little dish here where are you guys going i got treats everybody will come get the treats You like the cheesies. Please to find two extra containers of cheesies. Then hidden away somewhere. I've got to go buy some more. Everybody's here. This word spreads quickly. Okay, I've got to continue. Right, so now I have to try and find the little girl. I saw some quivering here. There she is. Oh, she's so scared. You're all treating her so badly. Hey, Lily. I know. Eventually they'll they'll accept you. Just taking some time. Yeah. So I want you to go into the paper towel roll. Let's see if I can herd you into the paper towel roll. Oh. Let me catch you. No. Into the paper towel roll. There she goes. And then you pick it up. Usually I hold the ends, but I, right now I'm holding the camera. Because usually you hold the ends just in case they jump. But I think she's used to paper towel rolls enough that she won't jump. I'm just going to leave it in there and she can come out in her own sweet time. And actually, it might be an idea to put this somewhere so she has a place sort of to hide. I think I'll do that. Right. And so now I'll shut the lid and I'm going to watch them for a while just to make sure there aren't any major issues. Looking too bad so far. Let's see, Asriel is a little bit paralyzed. His back legs aren't that usable. And he's got a lot of muscle atrophy there as well. But he still can just he can do he's got a little bit of movement. I think what happened with him was I used to have wire wheels, these wire mesh wheels. And they were wonderful. The mice just loved them because multiple... Oops. Uh-oh. Sisters are fighting. Oh, poor Gabby. <laughs> but they just need to sort things out. <clears throat> this is normal when you introduce mice. But anyways, I think he hurt himself on that on the wire mesh wheels they were great because they were they stayed cleaner longer than the solid wheels and the mice just loved them because multiple mice could run on the wheel and they had lots of fun with them but one day i noticed a mouse get stuck between the the wheel and the frame of the wheel and that's when i realized um, that there was a danger and i had had quite a few Mice have sort of temporary paralysis, and I thought it was a bacterial infection, but I'm pretty sure now that it was the wheel. So once I clued in, no more wire mesh wheels. Unless it's a single mouse. With a single mouse, you can do it, as long as they're not too obsessive, because I did once have a mouse get bumblefoot, and it was an unneutered male, and he was on the wheel way too much. So now I phased out my wire mesh wheels and only used the solid one. And I think that's where little Azzy got his injury. He got injured when he was like, th well, he was neutered already. I had him neutered quite young. So he would have been about four months old when he had his injury. And he's now about a year and a half to two years, somewhere in there. I'd have to go check. But he gets a around pretty well with his handicap, no problems. Except he has not clued in that his days of being alpha male are not, cannot challenge other males. And he just never gives up. And he can't be with other neutered males. And also when he's itchy, he really gets frustrated because he can't scratch his ears anymore because he doesn't have hind legs that move properly. And then he gets frustrated. All right, now he's checking out the new girl. Actually, not being too bad to the little black and white one. 
She might just have PTSD from the way they treated her right in the beginning. Pretty mean. Looks quite different from mine. She's short-haired and she is a slimmer build in general. And she's a lot smaller. Because she's actually older than um, Golden and uh, Gabby. But they're already bigger than her. And of course with them a lot of it's fluff because they're slightly long-haired. I like this slightly long haired, that's what I'm aiming for. But then I've noticed with the last litter, I just had too many um, red headed redheads. Um, these ginger, ginger mice, and I would like black and white again. And I don't know, because they, they do have Caleb's genetics in there, so when I breed them again, it, a black and white will probably crop up. But I wanted to be on the safe side, plus I'm starting to get a bit of inbreeding, so a little bit of fresh blood, even if it's not perfect. Because of course, pet store mice don't have a good beginning and there's not much care taken in their breeding. But uh, every two years you do want a little fresh blood in your mastery. <laughs> well, it seems actually pretty peaceful. A little bit of scuffles, a little bit of squeaking, but no big deal. So I think I can leave them to it. I just have to once in a while check on them. Oops. Ooh, she's being aggressive. Holy. Huh. Oh, we didn't expect that. She's so submissive. Ah, so she knows that Gabby's new. And she's challenging Gabby. Challenging Gabby for the lowest spot on the totem pole. <laughs> hey, you're feisty, actually. Quite surprised. She's so cowed. Yep, when you have new mice introduced, you never know how it turns out with the pecking order. Because everybody is reshuffling. Yeah, I think I'll just film for a little while. Watch them, film them, and then I think I'll let them go as long as I can go back to my regular day. Have to worry about them. I think things are going to.